Hey everyone, it's Andreas here and welcome to another video on Crazy Controller. In this video, we are going to review a wireless controller by NYXI and it looks like this on the Nintendo Switch. How amazing does it look? Let's review it. Hey everyone and welcome to another video. That's right, I have another video review for you for a new wireless controller. And just quickly, a disclaimer, I just want to give a big shout out to NYXI and a big thank you for sending me a review copy of these wireless controllers so I can do an honest review uh, for you all to give you a bit of an option of an alternative to the Pro Controller. Now firstly, I have not been paid for this review or this is not a sponsored review, it's just that N why XI have kindly provided a free copy so that I can give you my honest thoughts and they will see this video at the same time when everyone else sees it on this channel. So with that said, do these new wireless controllers by NYXI comparable to the Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch? Let's find out right now. We're just going to start off with the box and what comes in the box included. So firstly, you get the two joy pads, the left and the right side, plus you get a cradle uh, that says NYXI and this cradle is pretty much the same cradle that you get a part of your Nintendo Switch when you buy one and it allows you to snap on the joy pads left and right to the cradle and then use it like a wireless controller. You get some documentation in the box as well which I do recommend you to read because it does have a few instructions about the RGB lighting yes that's right these actually have RGB lighting modes and there's even a turbo mode as well which you can adjust uh, with a few clicks and the manual showcases how to do that Plus, you get a USB-C cable to USB to charge each joypad. There's actually a little USB-C connector on the bottom of each joypad that allows you to charge the controllers. Now, regarding to charging, let's quickly talk about battery life uh, on these joypads since they are wireless controllers. Battery life is actually pretty good. For an example, Playtime is about eight to 10 hours on a full charge. And if you need to charge the joy pads, it takes about two to three hours to charge them using that USB-C cable. If you're not playing the joy pads and you just leave them on standby, then these will last about 20 hours. Uh, this is the transparent version, which looks amazing. You can totally agree with that. Um, it even gives me um, the nostalgia of that classic transparent Game Boy vibes. Now, when it comes to the size of a joypad, as you will notice on here, and uh, compared to an original Joy-Con, they are literally double the size. So we have pretty much uh, bigger buttons, especially those triggers on the top are a lot fatter and larger in size. Uh, but regarding to the size of the joypad, I would say it's about one and a half times longer but at least double in width uh, which is really nice because when you have big hands like myself or even just normal human hands uh, the joy cons already are quite tiny so these actually feel really nicely in the hand which leads me to long-term gaming use with these one thing that I find myself when it comes to uh, playing my Nintendo switch OLED model I usually find myself playing it handheld at night just before I go to bed. Now if I was to try and do this with the original Joy-Cons, um, there is no issue, they work fine, but after a good hour or two hours, I start to get cramps in my hands. You get hand fatigue when you play that because you're pretty much cramped into uh, a smaller size. These here, because of the size, as you can see here, these actually feel so good in the hand. I've actually been able to play about three to four hours handheld mode in bed and haven't even experienced any hand fatigue. They just feel really good in the hands, very good in the palms, and because the buttons are a lot larger as well, they just naturally feel a lot better um, when you click them down. One thing I have noticed though, regarding to this version of the joy pads that I've received, downside is the design of this, because it's like solid plastic, even on the back of them, uh, they actually have no sort of grip feature on these. 
these. Now there is another version of these joy pants which are actually in a black color and they actually have the grip dots on the back of the palm section of the controller and I'm sure they will feel even better in the palm. Now with these, this is just sort of like a smooth finish of plastic so you actually don't get those grip dots. Now what about the quality of these joy pads? Well one of the biggest things is when you find an alternative controller, especially if it's going to be cheaper than the official branded ones, you want something that is good and usually I've reviewed other controllers on this channel, you can check uh, one of the videos up there of uh, another brand called Easy SMX, I reviewed a wireless controller from them. This here in the other hand, even though um, it is a different brand, this is definitely a premium controller. It feels premium, the buttons are high quality, the plastic uh, is very high quality. This would be the closest to what you can get on a really, uh, on, a, on a Joy-Con like this. Even as a Pro Controller, Pro Controllers are set as one controller, these have more use. So when it comes to quality, I'm really satisfied with the quality of these. RGB lighting is a nice touch. Anything with RGB is great. You can actually change the different RGB modes as well. So on the back of these, there's actually two buttons, one called M, one called T. T is for the turbo mode, but if you push that down and push in the um, thumbstick button, then you can change different modes of the RGB. So you can choose singular colors like orange, purple, red, um, and then you have as well the rainbow effect that you can choose. And there's different modes as well. So you can have a static, you can have a breathing, you can have a pulsing, so you can do that as well. Just keep in mind, if you use the RGB, obviously it's going to use a little bit more battery, so you might get a little bit less battery life compared to the normal eight to 10 hours of gameplay. Now these feel really good, they slide easily by pushing the button on the back of a slide out, just like so. And then with the cradle, you can easily just slide it in, just like normally with the Joy-Cons, and then use it like a wireless controller. Now, regarding to other features, these do have a gyroscope and they do have a rumble function as well. So as you play, they do vibrate and they feel pretty good. The vibration's really good. Connectivity, absolutely had no issues at all. Even connecting it to the cradle or connecting it directly as handheld mode, they just worked straight out of the box. No issues at all. The only thing to keep in mind is to turn them on and to actually connect them to the switch. You actually have to uh, push the home button on the right and then the screenshot button on the left and then they start to search and then connect automatically and connect just like the switch cradle as player one. The good thing about these, just like Joy-Cons, you can swipe them out and use them individually. So if you're playing a bit of Mario Party or Mario Kart, you can actually use this and it actually feels a lot better in the hand. You're not as cramped with the Joy-Con, but you do have a little bit more space as well and the buttons are actually more tactile, so they feel great. You even have a little button on the back side as well that can be customized. So are these wireless controllers good from NYXI. I have to say, honestly, I'm super impressed. I've had no issues with them. They look great, they feel great, and they are a really good size for my hands. And I've really enjoyed playing Nintendo Switch, again, using these joy pads. I actually don't even touch the joy cons anymore, even though I like, I like the colors a lot. Uh, they're just too small for handheld. I always go to this, especially that I have it now. So it should you actually pick one of these up as an alternative to a pro controller check the website you can definitely uh, have a look at these different controllers there's different versions of them and you could definitely pick one up check the description below I have a link to the website and I even have a coupon code there called crazy controller so you can save a little bit of money and that will help the channel out as well but once again these are amazing, have a look at them. I'm really impressed, no issues at all. Thanks again NYXI for sending me a review copy. I definitely can recommend them if you're considering for another controller. And uh, let me know in the description below if there's any other controllers that you have found that you like and enjoy. Let me know what you think about this video by giving it a like and subscribe as well for more upcoming videos on Crazy Controller. 
Thanks again for watching and paying attention and staying right to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video review and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye.